Oh, yes, indeed. More from Heller and Humbrol. Trademark or brand. Model kits brand. From France and from England. Nice combination for this successful company. This one is another big one. It is uh, the 172nd scale Douglas DC 6B Super Cloud Master with two uh, airlines versions, but this one is from Sweden. The Scandinavian Airlines system or the SAS. SAS. Very nice livery with the typical uh, Viking uh, or Dragon style from that country. I really like this commercial airline. As you see, typical, nice and uh, smooth finishing. No great details about the, the, the lines, uh, not uh, remarked. What I meaning, okay, uh, with the aluminium part, will show all the, uh, the panel lines without re remark. And uh, I think it's got recessed panel lines just like these ones slightly raised i hope it is not going to disappear when you uh, sand carefully all the surface okay it's uh, again four engine uh, aircraft so let's check the dimensions 50 centimeters long by 32 centimeters wide by 7 centimeters high or D. Let's check this side. This is the front view of the aircraft. Uh, side in view from nose to tail. Okay, Heller Humbrol, 172nd. Douglas DC-6B, Super Cloud Master. That's the version of the aircraft. Humbrol Heller, nice logo, made in France. Same information, but this is the Heller code. The AT-315, so nice. Another view of the aircraft, already painted by a professional modeler, I assume. More information in various languages, eight languages. The dimensions of the aircraft when you uh, build it, 45 centimeters length by 49.7 centimeters wingspan. 103 pieces and recommended for children um, over 10 years of age. Description, that means what kind of um, airlines inside. SAS from Sweden and UTA from France. Humbrol number codes for the paints. 11, the 22. 11 is uh, aluminium and 22 should be the white. In, and other ones, uh, 19, 21, 33, and 64. Well, uh, the barcodes made in France in 1990 or 1991. Well, let's check the inside. This one is mint in sealed bags. Still sealed bags, I will open them later. Wow, that's so big. Let's start with properly building instructions. Huh. Well, the Douglas at DC-6B. Starting with only 10 steps, just like the Super Constellation. Cockpit assembling. Um, finally assembly of the cockpit with the front landing gear 
more landing gear for the main uh, wings and uh, engines. Radial engines with this uh, three blade, blade uh, propeller. The cowling, uh, engine cowling, step number five, step number six, or other um, engine cowling. Let me move this. Uh, yes, looks much better. Another uh, engine cowling for the other side, and assembling the fuselage halves so easy way gluing uh, all these uh, windows uh, stripes and individual ones everything uh, nothing inside I mean uh, no floor no seats no uh, compartments etc that's uh, an easy uh, and quick building More assembling right here. All the um, main wings in the five halves. Two upper ones and three uh, sections for the lower part, including the central one. Typical from them, the cockpit glass, partially with the fuselage, should be sand it and fill it. The tail wings assembling um, the engines the engines to the wings and finally step number 10 assembling landing gears and doors antennas um, direction finders, etc. If I could call them that way. And what a beautiful world. The markings for the SAS airline from Sweden and the Union de Transport Aerines, Aerines, it is in French. Um, another livery, nice, using the same colors, black 33 code, white 22, aluminium 11, and the last one is the mixing of the 22 one second uh, proportion for from white and one, uh, one uh, second proportion from 11 so it will get a kind of uh, light aluminium so nice great great liveries from Europe well the registration from Sweden is uh, Oscar Yankee Kilo My Union. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, the French one is uh, Foxrot Bravo Hotel Eco Foxrot. Okay. Let's check. The Deckles sheet original great quality but unfortunately because of the time or the age it is showing some uh, dirty zones I think they are going to remove when you dip them into the warm water yes I hope so and uh, it is not going to destroy because I don't see any crack that's so perfect they are so strong from um, Heller, they always uh, make a great quality of. Look at this uh, nice uh, 
strive for that French airline I never seen before in my life this kind of airline I'm not sure if it still exists huh. let's check the parts it is still sealed in their original plastic bags so I will open it up and check the details quickly well kind of sort of sort of quick two uh, kind of colors I will start with the white part, the white pieces. Well, I could improve that, that light. That's a great uh, fuselage with some flash. You should sand it. Hmm. Okay, um, yes, I have to make some correction. The panel lines are recessed. Yes, they are slightly recessed. Mm, let me get the light away and check the texture. Okay, inside, it is nothing inside, I mean, no big deal about the curtains, floors, etc. It is so easy, so simple. The other side of the fuselage have, huh. yes, it is brittle, this uh, frame holding this long fuselage. Wow, I really like it. That's so nice. Yes. Let's check the quality of this long fuselage. Typical, it's warp. A little bit warped, but so um, easy to fix. Only you should uh, press them and uh, voila yes some gaps nice fitting anyway yes that's not easy to to rehearse because time is running well no problem with the alignment of the panels no. Great. What else? Direction finder. No figs, no pilots. Some struts. Small struts. Let's check these parts. So wiki. So sorry, so brittle uh, holding from the frames. These are the tailwing uh, halves, the, the, the center of the main wing, lower half, one of three from the lower part. Wow, wow, wow. I think it's got an extra, extra tail wing. Well, nice. No problem. Upper. These are the upper um, wings. Great. Upper wings, 
Oh no, that's uh, sorry. Um, I think that's the tips from the lower part. Yes, one of them. Sorry, these one. Sorry, correction. These ones are from the lower part of the main wings. And this one, the half of the tail wing, just like this one. No extra parts. Correction made. This part is for the engine. Let's check more parts. Oh, little doors. Wow, we gotta be so careful with that tiny part. Comparing to the big size of the aircraft. It should be uh, small parts, the, 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 the doors. Let's check this. Great, great. Propellers. And... This front part of the propellers good some pilot seat without pilots right propellers front propellers radiator engines wheels cowlings engine cowlings doors struts landing gear struts kind of the same like the other one and the trans clear part so important not to lose not to miss everything individual windows as I explained before and the cockpit glass with part of the fuselage you should sand and fill it well I think we are done with that oh let me show you some humble products this one is for decal fix in order to fix uh, the decals when you apply them through the surface and the little uh, painting this is the number uh, 11 aluminium it is used ju I'm just showing it not included on the model kit and uh, typical humber cement sorry cement it's a uh, used one but I think it is dried so I have another one somewhere but just to know what kind of product is it? Well, that's enough for now. For this wonderful aircraft, maybe next year I will build it because I have a lot of them waiting to be built. Thank you so ever much for watching this video and let's go on, let's go on to the next one. Bye.